Hello everyone, my name is Michael. I am a developer community manager for the Hubs team, and this video covers the basics of using your subscription dashboard and includes a lot of information about how to learn more about using your Hubs. So this video is perfect if you've just signed up for a subscription and are looking for what to do next. I'll be linking a lot of documentation throughout this video, so look down in the comments for any of those links. Let's get started. After signing up for your own hub, you will have received an automatic email inviting you to the subscription dashboard. Now, after your hub has finished setting up, it will look more or less like this, depending on the specific plan that you've signed up for. I'll now go over the individual parts of the subscription dashboard. On the left here, we have the hub information, including the automatically generated URL, the name of the plan you have signed up for, and your hub's content storage space, which measures the total amount of data on your hub across the entire server. For more information on how to manage your hub's data limit, go to the documents and search for the managing content storage section under the managing your hub's content toolbar. If you have signed up for a paid hubs plan, you should be able to edit the default URL a menu up here in the top right of the hub information panel. Next to the hub information are links to two of the most important tools for managing your hub, the admin panel and scene editor. Let's look at the admin panel first. All right, I've just logged in to the admin panel using the same email I had used to sign up for my hub. I'll now go over a little bit about how to use the admin panel. However, for a more in-depth dive, go and look at the Managing Your Hub's Content section of the documentation. The admin panel lets you moderate the users and content that have access to your server, as well as some of its default features. On the left here, you can see you have a lot of tabs for managing your hub's scenes and avatars and how discoverable they are to anyone joining your hub. You also have tabs for controlling who has access to the admin panel if you would like to promote other moderators, as well as information about the worlds that are being built on your hub. At the very bottom, we also have app settings where you can control those default features of your hub. Now, I do want to take a peek into the scenes and avatars to show you some of the default content that has been loaded onto your hub once you created it. Clicking on the Scenes tab, we can see we have one scene, this conference room, that's been loaded onto your hub. And under the Avatars tab, we see we have two avatars, which have been loaded in as default content. This is content that has been chosen by the Hubs team. However, if you would like to choose your own content, I recommend going to the Recommended Content section of the documentation, which I will link below. All right, back on our subscription dashboard, let's go over to the scene editor, which is called Spoke. You may have to log into Spoke for the first time with the same email that you used to create your hub, but this is the editor which allows you and other users joining your hub to build and customize existing worlds. If this is your first time creating a world of your own, I highly recommend you look at this blog post about customizing a gallery for your meetup, which walks you through the basics of getting started with a template room. All right, back on the subscription dashboard, I want to turn your attention to the top right, which is a logo which should have the first initial associated with your account. If you click on this, you can click on the manage your Firefox account to control your subscription settings. This will direct you to the, uh, to the Firefox accounts page, which is the account that administrates your subscription. If you do happen to be using a paid subscription, you'll see a tab on the left side for paid subscriptions where you can cancel or update your payment information. Great, returning to the subscription dashboard, if you are not on a paid plan or if you would like to upgrade, you should see a button like this, which will allow you to upgrade to one of the other available plans. Lastly, we have the support tab, which includes resources about how to learn more and get help with your hub. Depending on your plan, you may be able to book a free 30 minute call with a hubs team member to get support. You can also email us directly at hubsfeedback at mozilla.com with any questions that you would prefer to ask in private. 
You can also message us on our Discord server, which is the easiest way to get quick access to the Hubs team. Our Discord server looks a little bit like this. When you sign in for the first time, you may have to go through our onboarding process where you'll be able to select into a number of roles, which can help you connect with the other users who can answer your questions. I want to also point you to the subscription help forum, which I monitor very closely and where you can get answers specifically about using your subscription. Lastly, in the support category, we have the Mozilla support forum, which is the best place to contact the Mozilla team with any questions about payments or managing your subscription. Under here, under the billing and payments tab, you can find answers to specific questions, including how to cancel and how to request a refund for your subscription. And last but not least, if you have an idea for a feature for Hubs or how to improve the Hubs experience, you can click on the Give Feedback button all the way at the bottom to go to Mozilla Connect. Now, this is a project run by Mozilla as a whole, but you can sort specifically by Hubs to submit a request or a feature suggestion directly to our team. All right, that concludes this very short overview about how to use your hub. I highly recommend you explore other areas of our YouTube channel for more in-depth dives, as well as our blog called Creator Labs, which has inspiration, guides, advice from the community and the hubs team about how to get the most out of your hub subscription. I really hope to see you in the Discord. Please message me if you have any questions, and thanks so much for watching.